Hello, this is Ness Tilson. In this short video, I'd just like to show you how to use polyboard to set up a bit of furniture like this. This bit of furniture is made of two compartments, a lower compartment and an upper compartment. On the lower compartment, there are two opening doors, and on the upper compartment, there is two panels, but these panels are fixed. They are, in fact, a pair of false doors which do not open. How do I do this in polyboard? So let's start with this basic box. On this box we have a lower volume and an upper volume, separated by a fixed shelf. Let's put on the lower volume our double doors. I'm going to click in the volume, click add a door and choose a double door. Our cabinet now looks like this. What I would like to do now is close the upper volume with a false facade that is made up of two panels that look like double doors but do not open. To do this I'm going to use a double back. If I put the mouse over the upper volume, I can see that the upper volume itself actually extends beyond the cabinet's carcass and comes flush to the do two doors I've actually just added. If I click right into the volume, I can now choose in the menu, add a double back. If I put the distance from the front as zero, Polyboard now adds a panel. This panel is a fixed panel, so it does not open when I open and close the doors. What we have to do now is change the characteristics of this panel so that it looks like a couple of doors. First of all, let's change the material so that the material is the same material as the doors. Now let's adjust the overlap on this double back so that it matches the overlap of the doors. To do this, I'm going to use the links. First of all, st start with the top. We can see that the panel itself is underpassing the top. By default, the link type is recess. I'm going to change the recess type to groove to say that this double back is actually grooved into the top. Although the top is not actually overpassing this panel, we can still say that the double back is penetrating into the top with a groove. Let's set the groove depth to the thickness of the panel minus the slack that has been used for the doors. The panel itself is a 19mm panel, the slack 3mm, so the groove will set at 19 minus 3, 16mm. Let's do the same thing for the left side and the right side, grooved at 16 millimetres. If we look at our cabinet in 3D, we can now see that the slack has been adjusted the same as the doors. To simulate two doors, let's divide this upper panel into two. If I select it and I use the structure edit surface split command, I can divide the double back panel into two parts. In the orientation, I'm going to put 90 degrees so that the panel is actually divided vertically into two parts. And in the slack value, I'm going to give the same slack value that we have between two doors, three millimeters. The cabinet looks like this. And it looks as if we have actually four doors on the front of our cabinet. But when I open the doors, only the bottom doors open because the top doors are in fact double backs.